Welcome to a community tier list. I record these live on stream, Twitch link down below. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you already missed the vote, but we're all voting this as a community. And there are a lot of people in this broadcast and uh, some of them are new to the game, some of them are not. So you're gonna get a wide range of opinions. Some are strict about S tier, some are not. Some people like to troll, so don't take this list as any kind of any kind of biblical testament to how good these these heroes are or aren't but it should give you a general idea of where they stand in the eye of the community so yeah let's get it started finally this is ambush buzz oh my gosh i don't actually know what she does actually i was just talking about her today she gives you an extra face shift charge every few eliminations it's kind of useful I've had instances in dungeons where I needed more face shifts where she was kind of nice. Um, in D tier, I understand. I don't know. She's what you need when you need her, but that's not very often. I'll, I'll give her D tier. I'll go with the flow of the community on that one. It's not a super useful ability, but it's, it's semi-relevant. Uh, my favorite loadout is that super strong, well, Gia. All right, Gia. She gives you healing from animals damage, which is... Oh, no. Heroes heal their tamed wildlife for 15% damage dealt. So when you're doing damage, it heals your animals, supposedly. It's a decent idea for an ability, but it's never functioned, and it doesn't really keep them alive that much anyway? I don't know. It's F tier for now. I really hope this hero gets improved upon at some point. But yeah, Ambush Buzz was usable in that Flash AC Black Ops Boom build. That's what I was trying to get into earlier. Zenith, easy S tier. He is actually a hero I was running literally today. I'll show the loadout. You guys get a free loadout from me. Although chat's probably going to be covering it. But this is not a loadout video, so I don't care. <laughs> Zenith uh, has been covered a lot on my channel. He's really, really good for bows. He can uh, freeze when your sniper crits. Bows are snipers, and therefore he is very useful. I use him in Frost Knight in the 160 zones. You can basically eat a wafer, activate Tully Rockin' Out, shoot a Smasher, almost certainly freeze it, and then not only are they frozen in place, but they're doing uh, affliction damage if you're using like a melee, or if you're using like a Xenon bow with affliction, it can refreeze them with that affliction damage. Willow gives you an ability damage bonus based on your missing health. I have never found that to be useful. I understand that if you're using like a minigun or something and you get low HP, she can improve your damage output, but it's not that much. And I've always felt like it's an F tier ability. I'm sure there's somebody who's gonna disagree with me heavily on that, but I don't know, it never blew me away. So yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know that she's uh, super good. So yeah, we're just gonna leave that where it is. This is Wild Fragment Deadeye. He gives you Shock Tower Affliction Damage, which is pretty good as far as Shock Tower abilities go. Shock Tower is pretty strong. That's Ranger Deadeye. We're going all the way down here. Yeah, Shock Towers are actually pretty decent, and I like this ability. I always try to use him, but there's almost always a better support perk, so I'm gonna put him in B tier. I think uh, F tier is a bit harsh. Shock Tower is really solid. Um, I put him in B tier, because every time I want to use him, there's always somebody better that's like more damage or something and we'll probably talk about a few of them uh coming up here this is ventura ramirez she gives you extra teddy damage from range yet yeah, extra teddy range and damage at a distance it's again it's like wild fragment where it's a nice teddy ability but it's almost always like my last choice or my fifth or it's like my sixth or seventh choice like i always pick the heroes i want in my loadout and then ventura is like my alternate slightly off screen i do use her sometimes another b tier perk in my opinion just it's useful when you need it extra range and damage at range is good for teddy because the damage drop off is there but nothing too insane uh I don't even know who this is. I'm going to pause this so we all get on the same page. This is Vanguard Southie. I believe that's uh, Sizic Smash cooldown. Yeah, that's actually better than you might think. So Sizic Smash does really good damage. And in the lead, he makes it a three second cooldown with Happy Holidays. That's actually pretty good. I don't know that it's a loadout. You can't use that in the end game or anything. If you're doing low level encampments and want something easy to breeze through it, he might be okay. You guys say B tier. I don't know about that. I mean, I don't know. C tier. He's a hero I don't want to forget exists, but if you're going to be running Sizic Smash as your primary, uh, we've got Ice Queen and the other guy will be coming up later. So this is Undercover Buzz. She reduces gadget cooldown by a somewhat okay amount. It's not significant, but 20%, 50%. Uh, it's really good to help noobs spam drones more. I'll give her C tier. Yeah, she's a hero that you sometimes can use to shave 30 seconds to a minute off of your cooldowns, but it's not that good. Her commander perk doesn't make it so that 
gadgets are the only thing you use for damage or anything, so never do you want to use her in Commander, but if you're just a low-level player and she's in your inventory, you can use her to... Uh, you, you can just use her in place of something else. This is not Ice Queen, this is Valkyrie. So I think a lot of people might get them uh, mixed up, as I almost did. This is Valkyrie, do I not? Oh, she might be favorited because I send her on expeditions. That's a bad sign, by the way. Yeah, Anti-Material Charge Impact. That is the f F-tier perk I've ever seen. I think some people put her in B and C before they uh, waited for me to <laughs> double check what that hero even does. Size, I'm sorry, Anti-Material Charge Impact. That's where you're punching to farm with your Outlander. That damage is so low and impact is not helping anything yeah uh trailblazer quinn is another one of those support perks over wild fragments so he or she sorry i, I was thinking about him but she gives you a 46 percent uh, damage bonus here teddy and fire rate and a 30 percent damage bonus in support i don't think that's s tier that's not like next to zenith s tier but if you're running Teddy, you absolutely need to involve her in some capacity, or at least consider her, because uh, she's a great commander perk for Teddy, great support perk for Teddy, and a lot of people really like Teddy. <laughs> it falls off in the end game, but I think she's an A tier hero. This is... Uh, she's one of the Founders heroes, isn't she? Do I even have her? I honestly don't know. Yeah, this is Recon Scout Jess. Basically, just movement speed bonus. Um, is that really Recon Scout? Is this like an, a lower rarity? Oh, I see. Is that what got confused here? Because that's... Uh, that looks like Recon Scout Jess. Basically, yeah, B tier. When you dash, you move 60% faster. I don't know why we're not using her legendary uh, thumbnail here, but I guess we got that organized properly. Yeah, Recon Scout's kind of nice. You move faster after you phase shift. Not an insane ability, it's just kind of a nice thing that exists. This is Ranger Deadeye. He gives you a 50% damage bonus to F tier. God, some people are either trolling or they don't know. He gives you a 50% damage bonus to SMGs and pistols in the lead. That's huge. But... Not only is that great, but he's an Outlander, man. So when you're running an offensive build with a pistol or an SMG doing tons of damage, he's over here running with Teddy. You can phase shift around quicker. Sizek Smash is really good on its own. You can use that alt Outlander punch to farm as you play. Like, he's a DPS hero that has all the benefits of being an Outlander. It's really, really nice. Really strong hero. I don't know who this is. There are a number of, like, ACs in this game, and let's see if we can get the picture lined up here. Which AC is this? Is it Trailblaster? It looks like we got Trailblaster AC. And before we get any F-tier votes in here, let's find out together what Trailblaster is even does because i genuinely don't know shock tower duration by half a second that basically means that it zaps eight times instead of six it's not that good uh i'm gonna give it d tier in fact i actually here is another one you guys can steal i wanted to make like a ventures loadout on shock tower and this build's actually kind of there and i did use him in support i don't think he was good for much but you know, it, it it exists. I think it's a D tier ability, and uh, it's not much to that. I'm just going to skip ahead. Ice Queen. Ice Queen freezes everything with your Seismic Smash. Okay, maybe not mini bosses, but it does freeze Smashers and Miss Monsters. And Seismic Smash is already pretty good, as mentioned. Is she an S tier hero? Definitely not. Um, I think you guys are getting a little too excited there. I think we went through too many bad heroes, and now chat's just really excited for a decent one. And that's all she is, is decent. It's strong, it's useful, it's a fun ability. I made a video on it a long time ago. Um, a tier is probably more appropriate, because if we're putting her in S tier, like, same level as Zenith? Settle down now, I don't know. Mm. Zenith can freeze from across the map with a bow. She, you need to get up close and personal, it's a lot more dangerous. So what we were just looking at is head <coughs> Headhunter. So let me go ahead to the uh, Manage tab here. I actually don't know which one she is. I don't know the exact name, but Tetshot Jess, yeah. Headshot eliminations give you a charge fragment. That is F tier. I tried making this work with the Storm King's Onslaught, where you do a bunch of headshot damage with that, and then you get to spam Teddy or something. It did not work at all. Super useless hero. I could not make a good go of it. I was not impressed by that in any way. This is the money signs I could tell. Striker AC. Striker AC used to be everybody's favorite farmer. Now it's Sizek Smash Energy Cost, which is pretty... Not great. I'll put him in D tier. Again, if you're running a Sizek Smash build, which isn't the worst thing ever, he's going to be in support. But the energy cost <clears throat> energy cost isn't that big of a deal. What is Sizek Smash even costing? Uh, 40 energy? Okay, maybe a little off, but eh, not a very pivotal hero. I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. 
Cool Kicks is on my YouTube stream. Ask it if I stream on Twitch. I totally do. And it's linked at the top of the chat. You should go check it out. So Steel Wool Anthony is better than I actually thought he was. And I want to talk about that and what I discovered. Because Steel Wool Anthony, if I can even find him here, uh, it should be right around here. Sizic Smash leaves a pulsing zone at the end of your Sizic Smash. And that does a pretty okay amount of damage. But what I didn't understand when I used this perk a long time ago is that it bounces husks inside. I'm not going to pretend that's a like any kind of insane ability. I'll still put him in C tier, but it was more useful than I expected it to be. Uh, the reason I know all this Sizic Smash stuff, there was a bug recently where Sizic Smash costs zero energy. Or no, it costs zero energy and had zero cooldown, or it cost energy and had zero cooldown. I think it had zero cooldown, that's what it was. And I put him in support, and it did a lot more damage than I expected. A viable-ish hero if you're running size Smash spam, but size Smash spam is usually, you know, not usually what you want. This is Frag... No, not Frag. This is... What does he do? Oh my gosh. If I forgot, this is usually a bad sign. Something about, um, Shock Tower... Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna go find him. Let's pause this, and I'll be right back. I was way off. He reminded me of the uh, the chick that has like the grenade cooldown. Here, let me show you. She he reminded me of the Easter chick because yeah, this one right here, four leaf wildcat. She because he's part of the, the the same set, I believe. But the the thing here is Teddy fires laser from the eyes. Not that good. I uh, sorry, error on my end. I've heard from some people that he's really really strong. I did not find that to be the case. C tier, maybe. That extra energy damage periodically was not that much, and it looks like people are all across the board on this one. A tier, C tier, F tier, I don't know. Seems like we, we don't know where to put this guy, so kind of a kind of a wild card. Who even is this? Shotgun or Grizzly? I actually don't know. So a lot of really borderline or bad uh, ability heroes in this game are very easy to forget. So you get heroes like Shotgunner, which I don't even remember what they do <laughs> see somebody i threw on expeditions uh that's enforcer grizzly that's different i feel like half this tier list is gonna be me looking up heroes that i completely forgot about do i not have him oh my gosh i'll be back again oh my god i had to go to the collection book into where are we even at shadow ops so he makes it so that when you phase shift through enemies it stuns them for a few seconds that's Actually, that sounds like it might be viable. I cannot believe I did not have a spare copy of this hero. He is a military llama hero. That's where the Shadow Ops comes from. So it's reasonable that I didn't stumble across him. In fact, as I'm recording this on December 23rd, if this gets posted in a few months, I'm so sorry. These tier lists usually go up slowly. But uh, military llamas were out today. So I had a chance to get another copy and I didn't. Um, stunning enemies, that sounds like it could help you. But you're already dashing away from enemies if you're doing that so you don't really need to stun them i don't know and then we have shock blaster buzz oh my god is this another hero i'm not gonna know about i think i have her at least i i'm the only heroes i have missing my entire collection are really bad heroes and yeah shock tower impact shock tower already has really high impact and i mentioned i made that shock tower build i know for a fact there are six seven or eight viable shock tower heroes that are better than she is and you don't need more impact it's already stunning smashers so i don't know what her her deal i don't know what she's for i, I don't know who this hero is designed for but yeah i think that's where she belongs who is this <laughs> i don't recognize that outfit at all this might be one of the founders heroes shock specialist ac let's learn together so shock usually means shock tower and shock tower damage okay so he was my commander perk if you remember i'm gonna put him in b tier yeah you know what maybe c tier shock tower is not that amazing of an ability i feel like oh i didn't hit play there we go shock tower is not that Im oh i can't vote again but it did count i don't know it's nice he gives you like 108 percent damage bonus or something it's pretty strong if you're running him in the commander perk um shock tower builds honestly it it i tested that in ventures it was more viable than i expected but um it's not gonna carry you or anything it's not as strong as a minigun so i don't know i was impressed that's all i want to say but not really a very interesting hero red willow easy s tier one of the, i'm just kidding yeah, she makes it so that oh, put S tier. She makes it so that when you are face shifting, it triggers an explosion of a very small amount of damage, and it could not. When I featured her in my channel, on my channel, in my video, I could not kill the baby zombies with her ability, and that is, that is, wow. <laughs> That's the lowest bar. Yeah, Red Willow is a meme, is one of the worst heroes in the entire game. 
Who do we have next? Is it going to skip or is it just going to not skip? I don't know. It's kind of bugging out. Okay, I guess I just won't be skipping this hero. Weird issue. Is this going to be who I think it is? Uh, this is labeled as definitely the wrong hero in my files. So let's find this one. Man, so much of this video is like recognizing these icons. I wish we could have the label there on the tier maker because I'm pretty sure this is labeled as Recon Scout Eagle Eye. Like I can see her right here, but Recon Scout is the hero that we just voted on. So I think that's who we're talking about and I don't want to get this wrong, but I'm not really sure she could be anybody else. Maybe we can just vote her as Recon Scout and put her in B tier where we put her before and then maybe move on to the next hero. This might have been an error in the production of this and uh, that might have been that would have been Archer's fault if it was. So we're just gonna skip ahead to the next hero and uh, maybe get a diff different one. So this is Ragnarok. He makes it so that when you Sizex Smash it goes out and comes back. In fact, hitting twice is so strong that they nerfed him in support. So like it's always been this way, but he makes it so that you do 25% less damage, but you're hitting twice, so it's functionally 50% more damage. A tier is fair, yeah. yeah. And in the lead, he actually increases the damage on top of giving you more damage. It's a really, really strong ability. I used him in the commander perk for that video I mentioned earlier. Increases your damage by a ton in the lead, decreases it in support. Solid hero, solid hero, I'll tell you. It's actually, actually fairly good. This is uh, the, not Recon Scout, who am I thinking of? This is the, the mythic one, whatever. Um, I don't know if she's S tier, but she gives you the Shifting Gears perk where you can phase shift spam, phase scout Jess, there you go. So yeah, she gives you more phase shift charges. Um, even one extra phase shift charge is worth A tier. I'm actually being serious. Um, that one extra charge, it's already got like a eight second cooldown. It helps a bunch and it helps you get around a lot more. She also gives you shifting gears, which means you can spam phase shift a ton with the team perk. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Decent hero. Uh, great support perk. Pathfinder. Pathfinder depends on who you're voting this tier list for. Um, as an early game farmer starting hero, I think she's S tier. She gives you a 50% damage bonus to your pickaxe. Makes it very viable for farming. If you don't have clip or fossil southie or archaeologist, you don't have all the best heroes for a normal farming loadout. I think she's S tier, but seeing as she's fully obs- well, almost fully obsolete once you get all those heroes, I think A tier is fair. She's like an all-in-one Outlander farmer. Um, Parasaur Jess. Heals you when you use abilities. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I'll put her in A tier. Activating Blast on the Path- wow, F tier. That is aggressive. Did you guys maybe think this was Saurian Vigor, the trash dino soldier? Because- Abilities healing you is, is okay. If you're spamming phase shift, you're basically invincible. If, if, if you're throwing grenades as a soldier, that's actually pretty good. Um, you're mostly using her as an outlander. That's probably why she is an outlander, but the healing capabilities are pretty good. I put her A tier. That might be generous because I like speedrunning dungeons, but B or C tier is probably more accurate. Oh boy. Old Glory. Uh, when you use a fragment, it's a 10% cooldown reduction, right? Yeah, it's all right. Again, he's one of those heroes where every time I try to build like a Teddy loadout, he is, he's, he's in the consideration, but he's just not that useful. 10% is not that much, and it's only for fragment uses. I think he's B tier, looks like the community's super split on this one, like he's only good for like a, a second or two cooldown reduction sometimes, it's not that much, it's not that much. All right, Metal Team Leader is basically like... The, here, we're gonna have a couple of heroes that are exactly the same as her, and I want to point them out being, uh, am I blind? Where's Jingle Jess? <laughs> Jingle Jess and Enforcer Grizzly are the exact same as uh, Metal Team Leader, except that Metal Team Leader was a paid hero, and she technically does slightly more ability damage. Uh, that was a, a bug, I'm sure, uh, the way they set it up. They gave her a character model that's stronger. I don't think she's S tier, maybe A tier, but... I don't love teddies that much, so I'm a little biased. Main stage Quinn, easy S tier. She gives you the subwafers that activate Rock and Riff, and if you're using Totally Rockin' Out, the strongest damaging team perk in the game, you're going to be using her wafers in a lot of different loadouts. Uh, she's not she's not a necessity in every single Totally Rockin' Out build, but if you're using Totally Rockin' Out, you need to remember that she exists. Very very strong hero. You never use her in the commander perk. You just use her for her wafers and support. Uh, definitely, definitely like main stage Quinn, S tier hero. Who is, is it going to let me skip? Man, this site is just fighting me today. So, Kunumatata hero, I believe he's like uh, Ragnarok, but kind of worse. Yeah, applies a stun. 
and impact, which is really annoying. Okay, no, no, no. He's Ice Queen, but worse. Yeah, he stuns them, which does not freeze them, and increases impact, which launches them away from your Sizek Smash, which is bad if you're trying to hit them twice. I don't know. I don't like him. I don't like him. I'll, I'll give him C tier if you're just trying to stun them, but Ice Queen does his job better. He's counter synergistic to Ragnarok. Weirdly bad hero. I don't know. It's strange. Uh, Jingle Jess, as mentioned, same as Metal Team. I'm going to put her in A tier, same as before. It's like slightly less ability damage. And weirdly enough, uh, Jingle Jess is available for one week out of the year. She's like a less, uh, less accessible, a less accessible version. And I don't know. I don't get it. Metal Team Leader is a paid hero that's been gone forever. So she functionally isn't accessible. But um, yeah. Are we going to get... Oh, so Jingle Jess, or not Jingle Jess, this is Jilly Teacup, my four of her. She has a 100% chance to crit against brand new targets, and a 5% chance to malfunction, where it keeps finding a new target a bunch, a bunch of times. It's actually pretty good. Um, if you're using Teddy in low zones, critting on the first hit is a nice boost to your damage, in my opinion. It's not dramatic. I'll put her in A tier. She doesn't really carry anything in the end game but if you are using teddy you pretty much want to use her uh, especially in low zones that that single crit can one hit a lot of targets very general very uh enjoyable this i believe is gunblazer southie yes it is he is maybe an s tier hero so he increases your pistol and smg damage by a lot a 105 i know the chat's covering it 105 percent chance uh a bonus damage after you phase shift but you need a phase shift to activate that ability. And I find that really clunky. You're almost never using him uh, super effectively. It takes a lot of skill to run him, and it might not be worth the damage. I think he's an S or A tier. Gumshoe's awesome. She improves fragment abilities by 30% damage. That is Shock Tower and Teddy. And you don't need a fragment. So she's a flat 30% buff to both of those in support. And even more than that, in the lead. Really decent hero. I use her every single time I'm running Teddy or um, or Shock Tower. Uh, a tier, I think, is fair. Uh, S tier, I take very seriously. I feel like S tier heroes are like your end game great heroes, but I understand that like Teddy's really good in ventures and low level missions, and she's excellent in that. Fragment Flurry is very similar uh, Teddy wise, where you. Uh, get eliminations, and she gives you fragments. It's pretty straightforward, but it is a lot of eliminations, so she is generating fragments, but not not tons and tons of them. I can have, uh, hover, over, hover over her if I can find her. Where is, where is Fragment hiding from me? I am so blind when I scroll through these heroes. It's so tough. And, I'm, I'm, I'm panicking right now. I figured I'd pull up this hero real quick so we could take a look, but am I going to have to pause? To, there she is. Different outfit, I think. There, yeah. 39 to 13. Anyway. Fossil South, easy S tier. <laughs> God damn it. Um, yeah, she's good for generating fragments. A tier makes sense. Fossil Southie is probably one of the most universal outlanders in the game. Not the most, but he is energy generation when you have no shields, and he is a dino. So he gives you Blast in the Past, one of the best team perks in the game. He's constantly giving you a ton of extra energy, so anytime you're using Blast in the Past and need energy, he is awesome. He's an excellent farming hero in the commander perk because of how much energy he gives you, and, um, yeah. Super S tier hero, available for much more than um, just Outlander loadouts. This is Flash AC. Flash AC, in my brain, has become an S tier hero because of the Blackout Boom build, where you can face shift with him, reloading with Chaos Agent, that activates the reload on the black metal weapons, and that explosion does a ridiculous amount of damage. He is a critical component in the strongest loadout I've ever used. For that extremely biased reason, he's an S tier hero in my brain. He also gives you uh, face shift uh, cooldown reduction, which is great for getting around the map, great for speedrunning dungeons. I call him an S tier hero, even if his ability might be more A tier. I understand where the community's at here, but I think S tier is fair. This is Fireflower Eagle Eye. When you phase shift, she leaves fireworks behind you. It's C tier, I think, is about right. Uh, it's not a super dramatic perk. Uh, maybe I'll actually find her today if I go and take a peek. Oh, yeah, there we go. Phase shift leaves behind fireworks. It's not a lot of damage. Um, it's kind of like Red Willow in that way, um, but it's a little more damage, I think, because it's three damage, but it's over and over and over and over, so it applies lots of times. Uh, it's, it's a fun hero. It's a fun hero. Oh, boy. 
So I have tried to make this hero useful so many different times and I have failed every single time. Uh, let me go see if I can even find her. Do I send her on expeditions or something? Yeah, field agent Rio. Using phase shift causes you to have an, uh, a phase pulse. It's pretty not great, D. Uh, the, the damage from that is pretty minimal and I believe it's a slow firing projectile. So because it doesn't hit the target immediately, it has a high chance of missing. Not a fan. I've tried to make videos on this and I, I just scrap the footage every time. Bad, bad hero. This is Enforcer Grizzly. So basically the third hero of our Teddy uptime extender. You guys put him S tier before. I'm going to put him A tier. Why are you guys voting C and F tier? He's literally Jingle Jess with a different skin. Here, actually. Do I have these two heroes leveled up? Because then I can compare them. If I go and find Jingle Jess. Uh-oh. Is this going to be one of those times? Here. Oh, I don't have a Jingle Jess leveled up. Do I have an Enforcer Grizzly not leveled up so I can compare? There we go. Compare, compare. Look. Same stats and everything, and they both extend Teddy duration. They're, like, literally identical. Sanguine Dusk heals you when you phase shift through enemies. Um, it's not that consistent of healing, and you usually take damage in the process. I can't imagine why you're putting that in S tier. I think D tier is a lot more fair. I think I have some inexperienced viewers on this broadcast, and when I don't talk fast enough, they just start to guess. <laughs> And if somebody trolls by putting her in S tier, then I think they just follow suit and put her in S tier because now the D and C tiers are filling out. Yeah, Viva's laughing. I think I just called him out. Um, Cyberclops is easy A tier. He gives you really good Outlander abilities and really good bonus damage to those energy aspects. A lot of people really like Cyberclops. I am convinced that he's extremely overrated. Um, that plasma arc looks good, but it's only 20% of the time and 58% not that extra damage when it's only occurring a fifth of the time. Um, I've had a lot of arguments about Cyberclops. I think I'm gonna skip it today. I made a video on him if you guys wanna go look it up in the 160s, but yeah, I, I think A tier is, is fair. Crossbones Barrett, easy S tier. Uh, when I said that Southie's not the most universal hero, I was talking about Barrett. Barrett gives you coconuts. Coconuts, oh, coconuts. <laughs> coconuts are love-hate because they're really annoying to farm. Sometimes you get unlucky and you just don't get all the coconuts you want, but they heal you for a third of your health, 33% instantly. If you're running Blast in the past, that could be hundreds of thousands of HP right there. Then it heals you over 30 seconds at a very fast rate, and Crossbones perk on top of that gives you a 16% damage bonus. It's an outstanding support perk. Crossbones Barrett is, I've said it many, many, many times, the best support perk in the game, and I, I stand by it. Uh, Cottontail makes egg bombs happen when you phase shift. Pretty fun hero, B tier. I don't know where F is coming from, you guys. Um, I use her in dungeons, actually, in the lead. Uh, those egg bombs do enough to break monoliths and do damage to uh, enemies. It's pretty good, pretty good. It's not gonna carry the mission. It's not usable in the end game, but it's fun. Definitely a hero that you want to remember exists when you run her, and um, not much more to it than that. Is this clip up next? Um, yeah, easy S tier. She doubles your loot when you farm uh, with her in the lead. I don't really need to say much more than that. She doesn't have quite the punching frequency of Southie in the lead, but because she is doubling your loot, not wood, brick, or metal, but everything else, she is the most efficient, like, the best farming hero in the game. And a lot of my viewers are going to be biased right now because we're recording this during uh, Frozen Fjords. I already mentioned December 23rd, so I've already dated my video. Yellow Ben's War Cry. This current season makes Outlanders have zero energy. So, right now, with that ability active, Clip is literally an entire farming loadout just in the commander spot. You do not need any support perks to support her at all. You don't need to worry about energy, so you don't have Southie or, or Archaeologist, it's just Clip. Uh, Bloodfinder is also popular this season because he ups your anti-material charge damage. It's really fun in the early game in this current venture season to punch infinitely and do damage with that but it falls off hard. It's not nearly enough damage to do anything to high level targets. F tier I think is where he's where he's good and I'm just going to skip ahead to save us all a little bit of time. Uh Beetle Jess, easy S tier. She gives you a 225% crit damage bonus in the commander spot and 75% support. That is ludicrously strong, excellently paired with Toy Rockin' Out. Everything I mentioned about Ranger Deadeye is still true here. She has all the Outlander things you love about Outlanders. So you can get crazy damage bonus with face shift for movement, Teddy for damage, Sizex Smash for damage. She's got the obviously the Outlander punch, so you can farm 
in a game where you're doing tons of damage. It's awesome. If you're a poor player, but you like doing damage, run her and just farm passively. It's great. Azealia Clark gives you a 15.5% ability energy damage bonus in support. And in the lead, she's useless. She gives you a team perk that's useless. And she's nice. I feel like every time I want to use her to buff my, my energy abilities, there's something better. So I want her to be A tier, but like maybe B tier. She's a hero you want to keep in mind when you're using an ability, uh, energy ability like an um, energy minigun or... Cyberclops, for example, but in general, she's not that helpful. And then finally, Archaeologist. She reduces the cost of that antimaterial charge. So while you're farming, she just makes every single punch cheaper. And the, the perfect farming build is like a, a trilogy or a, a trio of Clip, Fossil Southie, and Archaeologist. You could put either one of these two in the lead with Archaeologist and support. And uh, with Blast in the Past active, Fossil Southie will be generating all the energy you need, whether he's in the commander spot or the support. Super, super strong hero. It's like she's not a commander uh, on her own, but her support perk is so good that she's vital for farming and therefore a very popular hero. So these were the most votes. This was the average rating. So if you just take the most votes, you could have like 21 votes for S tier and 20 votes for F tier and then S just wins. But if you average out the ratings, this is what my community has voted. We don't have a ton of people participating in the stream. A lot of these votes were only like 20 odd people. But uh, yeah, I think this is a good overview. You got pretty good results here. And you can see like how my list varies. Um, my list would change if you ask me on like 10 different days. But in general, these are all fairly accurate. So there you go. Those are the Outlanders as rated by my community. As by my community. It's been a 30 hour recording. I'm sorry. 30 minute recording holy crap i'm falling apart thank you guys for watching if you're new feel free to subscribe check out one of these recommended videos here at the end and uh yeah i'll see you see you guys in the next one